everybody how's it going back there got some tillers that a guy dropped off a couple days ago that I'm gonna start working on it uh, yesterday tried mowing out at the farm the day before that I didn't do nothing the day before that I tried working and boss left to me he says you're looking pretty tough and I said yeah he said go home so I did and for two days worth of work I've been down three days my feet in the place just took off hurt so damn bad I couldn't walk on them. So anyway, uh, today they say we got chances of severe storms. So I'm going out to the farm to hopefully get all the mowing done. As there's something coming up this next week, but, uh, it'll be hard to get the mowing done. So got to get her done today or as close as I can. And, back there at the dealership. It's got new road all over it. They want $33,000 for it. F-150 four-door. So, yeah. Sorry I haven't been around. Uh, just trying to work, do stuff. and uh, When I got into hurting so bad, I just did a lot of sleeping, too. Uh, just Yep, nope, I got it. Been doing pretty good at keeping the numbers under control now that I got test trips, so. Uh, I'm back to not, I'm going by the numbers, so when they drop, that's when I eat, so. I'm starting to get used to that again. So hopefully now I'll start some more weight loss, because yesterday, uh, Squirrel and I stopped, we had to go do some stuff in another town. She went to McDonald's, so she got her chicken nuggets. And I got a couple double cheeseburgers and ate some of her. That was it. Ate some of her chicken nuggets. Got home, grabbed a bag of sunflower seeds, and went to the farm. And I was out at the farm for quite a while. I mowed for a little bit, got too hot, went inside, sat down, and I guess I passed out. Uh, come to, and it was just late evening, and it was just gorgeous to be mowing, so I started mowing. I didn't get home until 9, 9.30 last night. And when I got home, I checked my numbers because I could feel I have those double cheeseburgers the sunflower seeds, I was down to 139, almost down to the normal range, which, and we ate at 10, 30, 11, somewhere in there, so almost 12 hours later, I finally dropped, <laughs> so, but anyway, I guess we'll get to the farm, get at her and got the kids car unloaded off the trailer now they were out last night fixed his AC and boy I don't know how we missed it but uh, pickup he bought yesterday I pulled up alongside when they got there and, oh, what the heck's that under I'm like oh no they ain't yep there's two ratchet straps holding the gas tank in that truck I'm like you gotta be kidding me so he's gonna go back and tell, talk to the dealer and say, uh, you know, <laughs> that's 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 bad. Uh, but I notice it's also got a broken spring on the one side. So, but it's better than having nothing. They needed something to get around. So, anyway, well, we'll get to the farm and see what we can get done. Well, there you guys are. That's where we're at. It's on the ground. I'd like it better when it was up in the air, but who the hell is that? 
I don't know who that was. All right, yep, got that. At this mode, I'm gonna go see if the dually starts, which it should. Move that out of the way. There's my PJ trailer. It's a 2001. Got that one. Squirrel was born. Things were going a hell of a lot better. Hello, Dooley. Paint's getting a little rough on this, too. But... Okay. Let's see. Pops right off. Yes, she does. All right, I'm going to move this so we can get one on this yard. I want to get this one done first. Then I'll finish up out back. Ha! Ah, heck, I'll just take you guys with me because I'm. Yeah. Getting low cloudy, so hopefully I get my mowing done today. Got whittled through this last night. I got back there to go. I mean, stuff's about 20 inches tall. I'm trying to cut through it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to have the truck pointed. Let's see either that's what happened there or whatever. Here's a couple of fires that'll be coming up. Got two stumps stumps to burn out. So yeah the hole dried up. There's no water in it now. That is where the hard house is supposed to be eventually someday. Still got a dream of living out here on the farm. So, all right. Right here's where we used to live. We had a trailer house there. That's where my wife and I started, right here on a trailer house. We had this second drive put in, and which has been a blessing because when they put it in, the old boy, that the county that the guy that did it, he's like, oh, can't you hit a small driveway? I said, well, oh. You know, I don't like a small driveway. And after we put that in, when we could get drive right through here, my dad kind of thought, boy, that was kind of a nice addition, getting big stuff in and out of here. So anyway, I got one more truck to move. If it'll move, and I'll get the mower going. So, all right. Well, there it is. I got that yard mowed twice. I started over there one cut, but looks like it's going to get wet I got some stuff I want to move quick so oh, I don't know how many hours I've been mowing but I've been mowing and mowing and mowing so looks a lot better oh, anyway just got done I had a pile of walnuts over there I just planted transplanted seven eight trees watered them and all that I got a thing, and I'm just going to scoop up the rest of that walnut pile and get it out of there. Moved it down so if any more trees start growing down there, I'll move them later. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to get some walnuts growing out here on the farm. We've got a couple over that way and that, so I see a couple of raindrops got on the lens, so I guess I'm going to go in the shop. Not done mowing just in time. So, all right. I guess from the west there, we got a severe thunderstorm west of us that's coming towards us. It's been rumbling quite a bit. Just enough to make everything wet that's metal, but not the ground. And right along the cornfield here is where my walnut trees are. 
I'm one, cut one in front of that Monty somewhere in there and going down there. So hopefully get some walnuts going out here. Be nice. So yeah, we got the Monty moved out of the middle of the driveway and moved the tractor and I dumped out my rainwater catch barrel. As I see it had a bunch of bugs in it, so I guess I'll have to rig up a screen for that to keep the shit out. So anyway, I'm gonna go in the shop for a little bit. I just wanted to get this out of the yard too, so if it does rain, it ain't in total mud. We get it out. Oh and you can hear it. Ooh. All right. Oh, we got a little bit of rain. Nothing heavy, spectacular. I mean, a lot of thunder and lightning. Uh, very little rain, just enough to settle the dust on the gravel. Well, I'm going to go home and uh, get this video up and call her a day. Tomorrow we got to go get the mother-in-law again and uh, they want to stop in and see what they got for parts cars on that Bonneville. See if they got the parts I'm looking for. But, so anyway I guess we'll talk to you guys later and have a good one and we'll go from there so, talk to you later